Hello, right, today I'm going to uh, show you or remind you how you're supposed to solve quadratic inequalities. So I have an example on the board. Right, first thing, any quadratic equation or inequality, you need all the terms on one side with zero on the other. So, we want to move everything onto the same side and ideally, but you don't have to do this, but I strongly recommend it, you want the x squared term to have a positive coefficient, you want a positive number of x squared. So I don't want the x squared on that side. So first of all, I'm going to move these two terms over this side. So if I do two things in one go, if I add the x squared and subtract the 6, I would get this. Okay? Uh, now, standard procedure, we need to factorise that. And this shouldn't be any kind of a problem for any of you. But of course, remember that whenever you factorise, always multiply out to make sure that you do get the expression that you've just factorised. And I believe that's correct. x squared minus 2x plus 3x is x minus 6. Okay? Right, just temporarily, you have to pretend that that isn't equals. Okay? Because you want to know what the two values of x are when that equals 0. And I hope you're all happy that that would lead to negative 3 and that would lead to 2. But, coming back to the quadratic inequality, there's lots of ways to do it, but my preferred method is the following. I'm going to sketch the graph of y equals x squared plus x minus x, y equals x plus 3x minus 2 in other words. Because it is a positive number of x squared, it will be a happy graph. Notice we don't need a y-axis. If you put a y-axis in your life, it really makes no difference. There's my x-axis. And because we have already solved where it's equal to 0, we know the two points where it crosses the x-axis, which will therefore be negative 3 and 2. But because we're trying to find out where this function is greater than or equal to 0, we need to know where the graph is above the x-axis. That's where it's positive, that's where it's negative. Okay, so we're looking at this bit of the graph, which now looks horrible, but it's time to emphasize the point, and that bit of the graph. But what we want is not what the y value is, we want the x values for those two bits. Well, clearly, the x values here are going to be the ones less than negative 3. Except, of course, we've got a greater than or equal to 0, so actually the value 3 is also allowed. So this symbol will match that symbol in the sense that if that has an equals, that has an equals, and if not, it won't. But obviously we've also got this bit. So again, this time it's 2 and above, so it's going to be greater than or equal to 2. And that, or they, are my two answers. But remember, you cannot combine this into a single statement. So you cannot write... I'm going over here, Mrs. Cross. Because apparently, we've now got the 2 is less than negative 3. And that's, of course, complete rubbish. So don't do that. And therefore, these are our answers.